of possibilities. You are welcome to an atmosphere of possibility. You are welcome to an atmosphere of signs and wonders. You are welcome to a place where things happen, where powers change hands. I pray today that the prayers that you will pray will not be hindered by the princes of where you were born and by the powers of where you came from. That the prayers you will pray today will not be hindered by the powers of the location that you are presently you are, you are presently into. That the power, the prayers you will pray today will not be hindered by the dream you had last night. It will not be hindered by the revelations of, that you had last night. But if the prayers you will pray today will find practical manifestation, it will receive answer. It will not just receive attention, it will receive answers. It will not be put under the fire, it will receive attention and answers from heaven. In the name of Jesus, that your angels will swing into action by the prayers you will pray now. In the name of Jesus, I'd like you now to open your mouth. In the name that is above every name, begin to thank him, begin to worship him, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. And the first prayer I want you to pray is the prayer of mercy. The prayer of mercy is the first prayer I want you to pray. And that is, oh Lord, have mercy on me. I receive your mercy as I enter into this battleground, as I enter into this prophetic environment, Jesus, into this prophetic atmosphere. I receive your mercy. Listen, it is not by might, it is not by power, it is by the strength, it is by the Spirit of God, it is by the strength of God, it is by the mercies of God. It is of the lost mercies that we are not consumed. It means that consummation came, but it didn't get us because his mercies kept us away. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me. In the name of Jesus, when there is a battle beyond you, it is the mercy of God that goes beyond the battle. Lord, have mercy on me. Wherever I have wronged you, have mercy. He said the prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto God. He will not hear him. He will not hear her. Lord, have mercy upon us on this great mountain of transfiguration. Lord, have mercy on us today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Now that we are finished with that prayer, I'd like you to now begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. I'd like you to begin to charge yourself up in the realm of the Spirit because we are going straight to the gates of the enemy and we are taking that which belongs to us, and we are disarming him. I thank my God. I thank my God, Paul said, because I make mention of you always in my prayer. I thank my God. I thank my God. Paul said, first of all, let prayers and supplication be made. Be made. He said, first of all. So prayer is first. Prayer is first. He said, first of all, let prayers and supplications be made. So prayer is number one. Lord, as we get into this prayer, we release the borders. We release the spirit realm in the name of Jesus. We clear the highways in the realm of the spirit. We clear it. We clear it in the name of Jesus. Let my coming to prayer mountain today, let, let there be a let there be a remarkable encounter. Let there be a miracle that we mark today for me. Oh my God. Every student that comes into the class has to make sure they respond to their attendance. My God and my Father, let there be a testimony that we mark my presence in the prayer mountain today. In the name of Jesus, pray in the Holy Ghost. Makato Zegeliadash, Legedegedegedo Zegre Bogodosha, Ikato Zaklato Zegedegediada, Robo Godo Zeket Elebragadosta, Mele de Gedo Zika La Bragadagaya, Eketo Zigla Brogodo Sikamia Dagasho Talebragadozi, Leto Mandigasia Baraga Dagada, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' precious name we pray. Listen, there is we are, this is how we are going to start. The first prayer I want us to pray. These prayers we are praying today came by revelation. 
Ah, my God and my Father. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 2, verse 2, if you have pen, you can write it down. I know on the prayer mountain, many people don't really come with, because we are here to pray. But Matthew chapter 2, verse 2, record it in your mind, in your spiritual consciousness. The Bible says, we have seen his star in the east. We have seen his star in the east. This is very, very important. Whatever you become in this life depends on the wise men who discovered your star. I repeat, whatever you will ever become in this life that we are in today, it depends on the wise men who discovered your star. Those who discover your star will either kill your star or make your star come to pass. They either quench it or make it to shine. Those wise men who saw your star, those wise men who saw your star, nobody, all of us here, nobody came into this world in darkness. You were escorted by light. Oh my God. If you can understand what I'm talking about this morning, you were escorted by light when you were coming. I was escorted by light when I was coming into this world. Light escorted us. That is what the scripture says. It's biblical. In John chapter 1, verse 9, the Bible says, This is the true light that escorted every man that comes into the world. This is the true light that lighted every man that cometh into the world. Every man that comes into the world arrive with light. They came with light. But whoever discovered that light, whoever discovered your light, whoever discovered your star will determine how far you will go or how slow you will go. My father, my father, my father, my father. I don't know who saw my star before I was born. I don't know who is still monitoring my star now. My God and my father, deliver my star. Release into my life the wise men that will help my star, that will help my glory. Where are these wise men? Oh yeah, power of God, bring them out. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Makato zegeliados, leketo zakata bragadoga, elegedo zikete kebrogodosa, makato zegeliadosa, legedegedegeya. We have seen his star. Not only one. We have seen his star. As I am talking, be praying, be firing prayer. Don't be listening with your ear, but be firing prayer. That is what happens on the mountain of prayer. You hear prayer point with your ears. You fire response with your mouth. Release that star. How many are you people? How many of you? How many are they who have seen your star? Who are these people that saw your star? I mean, wise men, not three wise men saw the stars of Jesus, and the Bible said they brought gifts. Some people's stars have never attracted gifts all their life. Oh my God, oh my God, on this prayer mountain today, let the wise men that will help my star locate my star. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I came into this world with a star. I came into this world with light. My light will not be put in obscure darkness. My light will not be quenched. Whatever has been quenching my life, I contact mercy and power. I break their yokes. I destroy their powers. I free myself. Victory is inside your mouth. Oh yeah, open your mouth and declare, declare it. Open your mouth and decree and declare. Makuta Sakatia Bagada. Ebregedo Seklede Keboshanda. I don't want you to take to this prayer mountain as normal and ordinary. No, 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 no. There are people that constantly look at the star. They monitor for stars. Every child born into this world, there are stars that they came with. There are lights that they came with. He said, we have seen his star. We have seen his star. We have seen his star. Let, and, and, and it was not only them that saw the star. Herod saw the star also. And he sent arrows to go and kill the star. He said, you know how many children died because of one light? The star of one young, one small boy. Oh my God and my father. In the name that is above every name. The stars of my children. The 
the stuff my children came into this world with will not be stolen. Oh my God. It will not be stolen. It will not be stolen. It will not be taken away in the name of Jesus. Magados reketeliados, leketo zakata kata kayadosa, ebregedo zikala bayadosa, megedegedo zoke libra gada gada, leketo zoto kosote liada. That is why people struggle. They keep struggling and struggling and struggling. They try and try and try, and you're like, what is going on? It is the star. The wise men who located their star, imprisoned their star, have refused the star of those children to rise. Oh my God, this devil is a liar. I stand against every evil wise man that have arrested my star, that have gone ahead after the stars of my wife, after the star of my children. Oh, maladi gadubie gede, enough is enough. Every evil that has gone after the star of my loved ones, every evil that have gone after the star of every one that is right here now in the name of Jesus who balade gesute liadagaya we stop your oppression we stop your powers in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus magado zekete liados barakata kasoto lo bragados yege de gede le brege de gede bosa makato zekete lia especially this period everybody is trying to resume one after the other. Schools are trying to resume. People are trying to go back to work. And there are people who have already mean some people who said, yes, we will not allow that to rise. We will not allow that star to shine. In the name that is above every other name, Jesus Christ, son of the living God, who is this person that I've seen my star and I've begun to work against my star, receive fire now. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost now. Be destroyed by fire. In the name name of Jesus. Makato Zegedelia, Rakato Zekete Kebo Shata Kayadoza, Lebrega de Gedegedo Zeka Libra Gadosh, Ikato Zekete Liada, Magadayada. You are on the prayer mountain. Don't waste this moment. It is very short. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Fire prayer, fire prayer. Magado Zekete Lia. Matthew chapter 2, verse 2. We have seen his star. We have seen his star in the east. We have seen his star in the East. We have seen his star in the east. Ah, we have seen his star and they brought gifts. I pray today, let your star attract gifts. Let your star attract helpers. In the name of Jesus, I repeat again to you, whatever you become in this life depends on the wise men who discover your star. Whatever you, you become in this life depends on the wise men who discover your star. They gave Jesus Christ three gifts, and these three gifts all of them manifested in the life of Jesus Christ. They, they gave him mine. They gave him gold, mine, and, uh, and frankincense. They gave him all those. And everything was an, a typical description of the life of Jesus Christ from the beginning unto the cross and ascension. Ah, my God and my Father. Listen, beloved, wise men, the wise men who discover your star, they have the blueprint. They know, they have seen it. They have seen you ahead. They've seen that star. My God, who is this that have discovered my star? Who is this that have discovered the star of my children? In the name of Jesus. Even if your children tell you everything they see in their dream, you will be surprised. But they cannot really explain it the way the thing happened to them in that dream. You will pray in the name that is above every name. Every star hunter, every light hunter, those that off the light of people, those that quench the light of people, I destroy you by fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Makato Zegeliadosh, Ibraga Daga Daga Dayadosa. Mekele de Gebos, Ibraga dos Sata la Braga de Ge, Yege de Ge de Gele de Gebos, Tanda la Braga dos, Ikato Zekete le Brege de Geliadosa. Which light did you come with? Where is the light you came to this world with? Because you came with a light. You didn't come this to this light in darkness. You didn't come to this life in darkness. You came into this world with a light. There is a light you came with. Jesus said in John 1 verse 9, This is the true light. This 
this is the light that lighted every man that cometh into the world. There is a light. There is a light that every human being comes with into this world. Why is it that some people operate in darkness? Why is it that some people cannot be visible? I pray today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What? Powers that have hijacked my light. Powers that have hijacked my star. Oh, yeah, give it up by fire. Oh, yeah, give it up by fire now. In the name of Jesus. Right from the days of John the Baptist until now. The kingdom of heaven survived violence. And the violence take it by force. Oh, your miracle is as close to your mouth as the words you are declaring from your mouth. And that is why a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Meketo zeke libra gadosh baraga de gede liadaka megede gede lebre gede gede. You are on the prayer mountain. You are on the prayer mountain. Open your mouth. Fire on. Fire prayer. Magado zeke teliadaga yada. He said, "Whatever I hear you say, in my ears. That is what I will do." Magado zeke teliada. E ragada gada gade bragado. Leketo zeke tele bragadoga. In the mighty name of Jesus. The next, the next realm of prayer I want to take, take us into. The next realm of prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Hear me. The next realm of prayer I want to take us into. The Bible, the Bible call it deliverance from evil waters. That is what I want to take us into. There is what we call evil waters. They confronted God before he created the heavens and the earth. Before God was able to do anything in this earth, he was confronted by evil waters. Any human being in this world today, there are evil waters that must confront them on their way to their destiny. Today, evil waters will be dried up in the name of Jesus. Evil waters will be dried up in the name of Jesus. And you are wondering, Apostle, what are you trying to say? Evil waters again? Yes. In Genesis chapter 1, from verse 1 to 12, the scripture says, God began to create the heavens and the earth. And he came, he said the earth was without form. And it was void. And darkness was upon the face of the earth. Oh my God. Ah, everywhere was formless. Everything was dark. God wanted to create. He couldn't do anything. And God said to himself, I need to call light to come so that I can do what I want to do. But listen, brothers and sisters, God said, let there be light. He said, let there be light. He said, let there be light. And the create. He did not begin to create. No, 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 no. After that, after that, God did not begin to create. When he said, let there be light, that was it, there was light. But did God do anything? There was light, but there was no land. There was light, but there was no land. So God couldn't start planting anything. And what God wanted to do was on earth, was on the earth. He couldn't do anything on the earth because there was evil water that covered the earth. There was evil water that covered the earth. Light was there, but he could not do anything on the earth. Creation could not continue because there was evil water. And God said, he said, he, he, he divided the light from the darkness, from the night, from the day. He did all that, but he couldn't do anything still until the Bible says, Deep down, down, down. If you read the scripture there, it says, and God, and God said, let the waters on the earth, let the waters on the earth, let this water separate, let the waters on the earth move to one side so that it, I can have access to do what I want to do, so that things can grow in the life of this person, so that things can germinate in the life of this person, so that things come up. If you catch this revelation, you will pray like a wounded lion. I'd like you to pray right now in the name that is above every name. Every evil waters that has covered my manifestation, that has covered my glory. I speak in the name of Jesus like the voice of a trumpet. Give way in the name of Jesus. Give way in the name of Jesus. Give way in the name of Jesus. The devil never operates without evil waters. 
there are always evil waters. Open your mouth, fire prayer. We don't have all the time. Begin to fire prayer. Deliverance from evil waters. Deliverance from evil waters. Let the waters that are on the earth move to one side and let some that are on the earth go up to the firmament. And the scripture said it was so. And God saw what he just did that it was very good. It was very good. And in verse 12, you will be very surprised. In verse 12, in verse 12, brothers and sisters, the Bible says, and the Lord talked to the earth. He said, let vegetation grow. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let vegetation grow. Why? Because now he can start creating. He can start planting. He can start doing things because ground has appeared. The earth has appeared. It was either to covered with evil waters. Open your mouth and pray right now. What is that evil water? Covering your marriage, covering your relationship, covering your ministry, covering your business, covering your job, covering your certificate. So many certificates are under the river, under the sea. It is covered. What is that evil water? Dry up by fire. Dry up by fire. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up in the name of Jesus. There is a fire that can lick water and lick stone. There is a fire that can lick water and lick stone. I command evil waters in my life to dry up. Every man, every woman that is right on the prayer mountain now, I command the evil water to dry up. I command them to dry up. I command them to dry up in the name of Jesus. Oh, maladege bo shata kate keliados, maraga daga daga diada, elege dege 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 diada, rokoto zokoto lo bregede, ibraga do shata kato malia dega, ebrege dege 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 dege, lekoto ziga baraga doga, ebrege dege dosa, makosho tika baraga da, elede dege 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 dege, irakato zeketelia. Evil waters appeared in the book of Revelation. Oh my God, you need to see the evil waters. The evil Evil water appear in the book of Revelation chapter 12. He, he, he almost finished a generation. He almost destroyed until today evil waters. The devil is still angry because he used evil waters. Evil waters could not survive it. Oh my God and my father. Revelation chapter 12 from verse 1 down to 16. The Bible said the woman was pregnant with a child and the woman was almost delivering. He was, she was in travail to give back to her child. And the Bible said, are you sure you are praying? And the Bible said that this woman did all of a sudden, a dragon appeared. Dragon appeared. And the dragon wanted to swallow the child. But the Bible said that immediately the woman gave back to the child. A hand came from heaven. God Gave, God took the child, the man's child. The Lord took the child and took him up to heaven. And the scripture said that the dragon was mad. The dragon was angry. That is why they are angry, because they couldn't touch your child. That is why they are angry, because they don't want you to dominate, to give back to those children. To, uh, they don't want those children to survive and to rise and to chime. That is why they are fighting the children. That is why they are fighting you. I decree today in the name of Jesus, this dragon die by fire. Die by fire. Be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. The scripture said in verse 15, he said when the dragon discovered that he couldn't do anything, he opened his mouth and water came out. He opened his mouth. The evil water came out. Evil waters begin to go. He said he wanted the evil waters to swallow the woman. Oh my God. Do you get what I'm talking about? Scriptures interpret scripture. Scripture validate scripture. You are on the prayer mountain. This river, these waters of trouble, this evil water will not swallow you. The Bible says something, and that is another prayer I want you to pray. Instead, the X Amayagada, which some people call Ajani, the earth opened his mouth and helped the woman. The earth helped the woman. I'd like you to pray now. Oh, earth, call the earth, call the earth. Oh, earth, 
Help me, help me. The Bible says, Earth help the woman. The earth helped the woman. Oh my God. The earth helped the woman. The woman was helped from where he, she never expected help to come from. Even the earth helped the woman. My God and my Father, in the name that is above every name, let my help come. In. My help come in from the Lord who made the heavens and earth. Maligado Sheketeliadosha. Rakato Zedeliadoka. You may not know, you may not understand what I'm, I'm trying to explain, but I want you to pray the prayer. There is an area in your life, there is an aspect in your life, the dragon is with him, using the evil waters, using evil waters, but help will come, help will come. From where you least expected, help is coming for you, help is coming for your children, help is coming for you, help is coming for you. You, hey, there will be a voice who will speak on your favor. The Bible said the earth helped the woman. The earth helped the woman. And the next verse, the Bible says in verse 16 that the dragon was angry. He went ahead and vowed. He said he will continue to fight the seed, the children of this woman. Oh my God. Oh my God. You see, whether you like it or not, the children has a battle to fight. Because the seed, the, the dragon said he will fight them. You will pray now. In the name that is above every name, we stop every battle, every battle, inherited battle, transferred battle, transferred aggression. In the name of Jesus, we stop it now. We stop it now. Every onslaught from the kingdom of darkness, enough is enough. We stop you by fire. We stop you by thunder. In the name of Jesus. Maledegebo shata kata la bragados. Ye gedege de le bragado go se teke liados. Ye bragada gayada la brege dogosa. Two powerful scriptures we pray through to pray from today. We have seen a star. Matthew chapter two, verse two. Oh, Madele Agadabasha. And we took another prayer from Genesis chapter 1, from verse 1 to 12. And finally, we began to support that scripture with Revelation chapter 12, from verse 1 to 16. Oh, God, my Father, on this prayer mountain today, as we round up, let there be an earthquake in the camp of my enemies. Let them not see the road. Let them not have the time to even think about me. Let them be turned upside down that seek my I fall in the name of Jesus. Let my doors be open unto me. I command the doors to open. I command the doors to open. I command favor to locate me. I speak favor in the area of my job. I speak favor in the name of Jesus. 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 I speak victory 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Magadele bregedogo sataka bayados. E braga da gayanosa. Lege de ge de ge do zekete liados. E makato zekete le braga do godosa. Meketo zeketu li braga da shanda. E ge de ge de le de ge bo shata kato li braga do gosi. Makoto zege de liado kata. Ezoto lo brege de ge diada. And right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, whatever the Lord has not planted, whatever my heavenly Father has not planted in your life, in my life, I command it now. Be uprooted in the name of Jesus. 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 Be uprooted. In the name of Jesus, be your protect in the name of Jesus. We worship you. Open your mouth and begin to worship him. Begin to give him glory. Begin to honor him. Some of you, you need to continue this prayer. I'm telling you, some of you need to continue. I will round up. I will round up. Don't forget, you will use the same link. The same link, you will use it to connect for the prayer and deliverance service. We are going deep into these prayers. We are going deep and we are having more of the pastors coming in to lead prayers. Don't, don't, don't. don't. This is not the season to be idle, to be ordinary. In the realms of prayer, it is time to take it by force. In the name of Jesus. I will be expecting you this 